Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It's very possible that the offices of Business Insider could be raided by the secret police since they uh, made this little article here and published it. And uh, they say something very insensitive to the NATO inabilities to fight a war. And that's not, uh, <coughs> you know, on the liking of certain kind of individuals. Now, let's look at this little article from Business Insider and see what they say. So, Business Insider, September 15th, 2023. Ukrainian commander says he'd be dead if he fought exactly how the US and its allies taught him. All right, so uh, that's one thing that I, um, I said on a few occasions is that why are the Canadians training the Ukrainians? Uh, based on what kind of experience? Afghanistan, Iraq, and then to think that those guys are somehow the Ukrainians uh, are somehow lost in the Second World War when they were part of the Soviet Union, a Red Army, it's very insulting. Uh, not like these guys participated in drills or practices, trainings with everyone else, or they just monitored people's activities in other wars, like in Syria, in Afghanistan, in Iraq. You know, they didn't uh, do anything extraordinary in, in all those things. We're told we are fantastic, but who did we fight? We. Huh? Iraq? 20 million people population with a rusty equipment. Saddam's war machine. I laughed my ass off and I was very young at that point when I heard that. I was like, ha, I mean, really? And they were saying that. And then what? Afghanistan? War machine too? Then Libya's war machine? Uh, they bombarded Yugoslavia? They didn't even dare to get in. They just bombarded it. Uh, that one? I mean, this is the... Anyway, uh, again, if Business Insider published that article with a Ukrainian commander, not a, you know, regular Indian, a chief, <laughs> um, that's not good. Let's see what else these guys have to say here. Tens of thousands of Ukrainian soldiers have received NATO training to help them face Russia. But some have said that some that the lessons do not work very well in practice and have ignored them. One commander told the Financial Times, not even Business Insider, that if he followed NATO advice to the letter, letter he'd be dead. A Ukrainian commander trained by the US, British and Polish soldiers told the Financial Times that if he followed their ad exact, their advance, their advice exactly, he would be killed. Western allies of, I mean, that's a scenario, let's put it that way, but whatever. Western allies of Ukraine have offered training to thousands of troops in the hope of stealing them for battle against Russia's invasion force. But some have said that the principles they learn from NATO countries often do not pan out on the battlefield. And I'm quoting, if I only did what Western militaries taught me, I'd be dead, end quote, said a special forces commander special forces of Ukraine's 78th regiment who spoke to the Financial Times. The outlet didn't give his full name, referring him as Suleiman, as well as Saddam. <laughs> Suleiman. Okay, during this, his training, Suleiman said he was offered some good advice, but also bad advice, like the, their way of clearing trenches. I told them, guys, this is going to get us killed. Well, you have to make sure that you don't destroy the environment. Okay, so you have to, and it's a global warming and you don't want to destroy the, you know. Uh, uh, he, he isn't the only Ukrainian soldiers who had spoken out against the Western approach to instruction. A senior intelligence surgeon in the 41st Mechanized Brigade, who goes by the name of Dutchman, told Open Democracy last month, and I'm quoting, I don't want to say anything against our partners, but, then don't say anything, <laughs> but they don't quite understand our situation and how we are fighting, end quote. Well, <laughs> this guy, uh, Dutchman, he un didn't understand that those guys are blaming them as being some, I don't know, cavemen. That's what I heard. They're still stuck in their Soviet mentality. That's what they said. So you blame one another. 
I think you should just take positive things from one another and use them. And uh, the ones that you think that don't work, discuss them and don't apply them. It's your life after all over there. But hey, orders are orders, right? You don't discuss an order. So we need people to understand how, the, how to effectively clear trenches, enter them, how to uh, grow grenades effectively, how not to uh, trip on booby traps to understand what grenades the Russians throw, essentially to understand the enemy, Dutchman told Open Democracy. I totally agree with this guy. So uh, he says NATO, NATO forces also train Ukrainians to overwhelm their enemies with the type of firepower it does not possess. So, you know, you're going to use the automatic weapon, but b before you get that, uh, we're going to give you that, you use your sword. Right? And make sure you put the uh, magazine in the sword and then you ch -ch, put it on an automatic, not fire, fuck, you know, and uh, lean in it a little bit. So put in your, uh, and hold it and Jesus Christ. About 63,000 Ukrainian troops have been trained in the West as of August. That's why the counteroffensive was A-OK, -okay. <laughs> Open Democracy reported. The 36-day crash course basic soldier training in mostly held in Germany and the UK, an unmanned source involved in the process told the outlet. Well, I'm pretty sure, you know, um, when you get involved with people, you can't... Uh, have everybody happy so you always if you even even though you provide the best training you're gonna have people who will say well that's not that doesn't fit me okay it doesn't fit you pick whatever it fits you and apply it and i can tell you that in fighting uh fighting the same you can train you can really show a lot of you know, tactics or you know mental warfare you know body language training attacks and all that but if that doesn't fit the guy, his mentality, and doesn't fit his body, doesn't fit his weapons that he possesses or doesn't possess, you know, he should take and apply whatever fits that person in that particular situation he finds himself. Because he's not going to fight the same enemy all the time. You're going to find a certain kind of group, you're going to find a different kind of group. You're going to be fighting during the daytime, you're going to be fighting during the nighttime. You're going to be fighting a guy in front of you, positioned straight. You're going to fight people on diagonal and so on. As many, you know, it's so many variables. So you, you have to, as a commander, you have to pick and choose what fits the circumstance. That's your role. So yeah, that's good. You learn from these guys. I don't think these guys told you, you have to do this. I'm not defending NATO guys. Uh, no, but... You know, it's only logical to apply what fits, not the necessary uh, cookie cutter. Puck, 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 puck. For each, the same. I don't think they do that. But anyway, and he, this guy, the first one was uh, uh, Special Forces. So it was not like a regular, you know, Hurrah, let's go. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.